Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I've come to a famous street in Xinchuang called Xinchuang Temple Street. And this street is famous in Taiwan because it's got a lot of old temples on it. But actually, not a lot of foreigners know about this street. And I've only been here once. I didn't think very much of it. It was a bit, I didn't think it was great compared to the other streets, but it's interesting with the temples and that. But uh, I haven't been for a long time. So I thought I would come back and give it another chance and see what it's like and check out the temples. Because last time we just came here for the uh, market food. So this time I've come here really to check out the temples. And uh, we'll walk up and down the street and we'll see what it's like and give you a feel for it. All right, so let's get going. The temple we're looking at now, this is called Wusheng Temple and this was built in the 1700s for Emperor Guan and it's one of the earliest temples in all of Taiwan in northern Taiwan anyway I'm gonna have a look inside but with all temple buildings and that I'm gonna keep my talking to a, a minimum because I am very loud So online it says this is one of the earliest temples in northern Taiwan and actually even though it's it's a smaller temple than some of the others it is quite good inside the detail the detail on it is fantastic for example I'll show you the walls it's all carved on the walls and everything When I take it back, it's actually quite big. It's got little courtyards and that out the back. It's all the little butters and that. See all the little butters on the on the fake mountain. I really like that they've got this little doorway here on the mountain. Didn't want to keep me coming there for too long in case any of the parts fell off it into the water. But I really like that little doorway. Originally, I thought this Wusheng Temple in Xinchuang Temple Street was just the first room I went in. But it's got a door out of the back your courtyard. And it's got a few other sections, rooms behind. So I'm checking them out now. This is what I mean about the detail. Here's the little courtyard behind the main hall. I love these courtyard, courtyards in traditional Chinese uh, buildings. You see the little step over. When you go in temples and that, you're not supposed to stand on that, you're supposed to step over them. These are all the different gods. The roofs of the temples and the traditional Chinese style buildings are such a iconic feature. From up here you can kind of see the size of the temple. If you look out to the main street to the right that's the first room what you come into that's the first area and then there's a little courtyard there behind the white building and then behind this building I'm stood here in this passageway a bit more gods up here this unvarnished wood carving here in the wood with the story on it this is one of the main features of this temple, apparently. 
Right, so that's it for Wusheng Temple. This one was built in the 1700s and it doesn't look so big from the outside. You can see it there behind us, look. It doesn't look so big, but when you go in, it's not tall, big up. It goes backwards, like out backwards. And there's loads of gods, rooms with gods inside, different Buddhas. So that was really interesting. Unfortunately, I can't read much of the information inside the temples so I just have to go in and look around I wish I could read more and understand what it was saying but unfortunately I just can't just have to be respectful in that inside and not try not to get in anyone's way when they're praying that's all I do and I admire the building so let's move on to the next one this street I'm on the temple street it doubles up as a night market so I think it's about 3 or 3.30 now so there's some stalls starting to open up but I'm not hungry, I had a massive breakfast. The shops are all starting to open up now, look. I just drove down this street looking for parking and not much of this was actually open. So this is what the Temple Street looks like. And like always, where there's a road, there's scooters. There's not much like pedestrian zones here. You can see there's still a lot closed. There for rent them anyway, they're permanently closed. It seems to me like a lot of these shops down here are closed and the streets are actually seen better days and years gone by. But we're here to see the famous temples anyway. We're not here to see the, the street and what the street's like. That's just a side feature really basically like most old streets in Taiwan most old streets in Taiwan have the same stuff on shops clothes shops, food and uh, knickknacks I suppose look this one's for rent that says rent there The scooters driving down here, I can understand, but I have no idea why you would want to drive a car down this road. Look at it, man. Makes no sense, does it? All the scooters built up behind the car. Here's another car, man. I honestly don't get why you would want to drive your car down here. I've just got to the next temple. This is called Suyo Temple. And this is also apparently a really famous temple in northern Taiwan. So let's go and have a look at it. Design wise, it looks the same as the other one in design so let's go and see if it's a similar inside or not I believe this is the order that you should pray in so you go like follow the steps one two three difficult for me to follow that an interesting character, isn't it? Like the last one, just the same. Got a courtyard in the back, look. This courtyard's not as nice as the other one. So this Suyo temple has the same design as the other one three rooms going backwards but it doesn't have the upstairs part so it's just all one floor one level in this one I'm back outside the temple now this one was similar to the last one but on a bit of a smaller scale and it had less guards inside I noticed that much let's see if I can find a few of the other temples around this street 
I'm at the next temple on this Xinchuang Temple Street and this is called Guangfu Temple. That's it behind us there. It looks, the inside looks different to the others from here. It looks like one big courtyard. So I'm gonna go in and find out. So it's different from the others in that the entrance is just this big courtyard. I absolutely love the open courtyards, love them. This temple is quite bare compared to the others. All the temples here have a similar design, but this one is quite bare compared to the others. It doesn't have much inside. They all have this open courtyard area out the back. That's pretty cool. So that is Guangfu Temple. And there's this little side bit across the road. I don't know if they're connected, but I'm going to have, have a look at it anyway. Just a little room. Right, I just got to the next temple. This is called Wenchuan Temple. This might be the last one I come to, but there's loads of temples in this area. Just my battery is dying big time. So this is Wenchuan Temple. Got loads of reviews, this one. So let's get inside and see what's in here. Oh, no, there's the door. I thought it was weird, I thought it had no door. It's one small temple, this one small room. This temple is like one small room with loads of little side rooms off it. I'm not going to stay here for too long. On a horse, this one, this buddy. Oh god. Right, that's it for me for Shintrang Temple Street. And to wrap things up, I think this street has seen a lot better days in the past. I think there's a lot of stuff closed and it just feels run down and like dated uh, but the temples themselves are really interesting to see there's a lot of temples within walking distance in this area so if temples is your big thing that is interesting and one thing that's really really pissed us off is the amount of traffic going up and down this road the scooters, fair enough, there's, if the road's small, the scooter's small. But the amount of cars driving up and down here like absolute idiots, man. Nearly knocking you over. That's one thing that would make us not come back here. The amount of cars tooting at you to move and driving up and down here like an absolute moron. So, alright, to wrap it up. If you like temples, it's worth coming to see the temples. It's not worth it if you just want to come have a walk down the Temple Street. The Temple Street is dated, old, and not really worth your time. I would say, even the temples, if you're an international tourist coming to Taiwan, don't bother with the temples here. Go to other temples. But if you're someone like me, who's lived in Taiwan for a long time, and you've been here for years, and you've got the time to come and have a little nosy around, then it's probably worth coming and have a look. Other than that, go somewhere else. A lot of stuff's closed. Look at the traffic, man. Like, I'm trying to walk down this street. Look at them. This should, this should really be a walking street, this. But it's not. So that's really annoyed us. So, right, that's my thoughts on Shintrang Temple Street. Temple's interesting. Street a bit dated and old. Traffic would make us not come back. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Give it a like and comment what do you think of the temples on Temple Street. See you later.